Hello fellow Clashers, it is Skyros time and today we're going to be doing another ladder gameplay video. Now you guys, the last one we did was a huge success, you guys really seemed to like it a lot and I like to hear that. So this is, a, you know, here's the regular deck that I've, I'm almost always using. I thought about doing this deck in today's episode and I think it would be a lot of fun and let me know if you guys want to see it. But it is pretty similar to my other deck so I figured I'd try something a little bit different. This is the deck that I did in my most recent challenge winning deck series um, and I had a lot of fun with it in challenges. Now, now, I'm my cards are probably yeah my, they're about competitive for my trophy range right here I'm at 40 58 and that's not super high for where my card levels are because I've been really busy this week with uh, different types of videos haven't had a whole lot of chance to jump into the ladder so it's time to jump it back into the ladder and uh, I think these card levels are competitive enough for me to uh, definitely do this in the ladder so we'll go ahead and try this out now I do normally have a level 5 expo uh, around these arenas but uh, I'm facing level 10s here so now, but the thing is, is a lot of the level 10s in this trophy range honestly have higher level epics and or commons and rares than I do. It's uh, it's kind of crazy. Looks like he's got a level seven musketeer, so not so much um, not so much him. But we'll go ahead and fireball that. Try and get a little bit of damage onto his tower. And oh, I forgot about that. See, level nine hog rider. Oh man, it is just crazy. Okay, we'll go ahead and place these minions right here. Get a little bit more damage onto him and. Hmm. He's going to answer something with that. He's going to place the zap. I was hoping for something a little bit different. Okay, we're going to do something kind of crazy. He just played the log and the zap. So, we're going to do this really super weird push. This is totally, I'll be honest, this is pretty unfair for, um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, he has some card levels that are so much uh, lower level than me that I'm, I have an unfair advantage, which is not how I'm used to playing in the ladder. In fact, normally I'm facing against people that, let my, usually level 10s, have uh, much higher uh, cards than I do, like that level 9 hog rider. I don't even have a level 9 rare, so... Anyways, that's okay, whatever, we're just gonna do this. I've got this musketeer in the back, although it does make me feel bad. He is clear up at 4060 with these level cards, and so he's got the skill. He's got the skill, so I'm not too concerned about it. We'll go ahead and place that tombstone right there as a defense and fireball, or not fireball. We're gonna do this combination. This is the strong combination. Ooh, he did a really good job with that. I really liked what he uh, what he did there. Okay, now we've got one tower down and he's going to be fighting for his life for this next tower he had to zap that because it was going to get another hit on the king's tower i'm going to go ahead and place this uh musketeer in the back and i'm also going to place this tombstone right here and as soon as we are ready i really would like him to do some type of a push first okay well if he's going to put his musketeer in the back we'll put this balloon right here looks like that's his best option uh, or best counter to um, his musketeer is the best option against level one elite barbarians. What is this guy doing? This is so interesting. Well, okay. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do that then. Um, I'm going to pull this way over here. Wow, oh, okay. I probably should have waited just a little bit, but that's okay. It ended up working out okay. I would be fine with giving him a tower, actually. Let's, uh, let's just let him take that tower because it's uh, pretty clear that he's not going to... Come on. He's not going to be able to beat me, so might as well give him a tower, make it a little bit more, uh, give him some crowns, right? He could be going for his crown chest. I, I, I like letting people go for that. In all honesty, though, he might not have been, I might not have been able to stop him. Well, I probably could have if I was really uh, cautious, but I'd rather just give some crowns. Spread the wealth. It's the opposite of BMing. Spreading the wealth. Getting those crowns to everybody. Okay, we're facing Mateus. Another level 10. Man, I feel bad. This is going to look like I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm trolling or something like that. We'll place this Musketeer in the back. And the Musketeer is going to be able to help get rid of that level 1 Miner. Man, interesting gameplay right here. Okay, well, he's got a level 2. And we'll place this Balloon right there. He's got that Ice Wizard in the back. I don't know what he's going to have. Ooh. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay, well, that's okay. I should have just zapped those. Um, with that um, with that Ice Golem. Okay, so he's going for a Payfecta deck. Oh, this guy. I'm happy with this guy. I love uh, 
I love Payfecta so much. I really do. I'll place these minions right here. He's going to have to answer them if he doesn't want any damage onto his tower. Okay, well, he's going to place his Hog Rider clear over there, so we'll place his Tombstone right here. He might be playing the deck that Mateo, Mateo actually uh, recommended in my uh, challenge or my Explore the Meta episode. If you guys don't know what that is, go ahead and check that out. It's one of my more recent episodes. Um, I think, it, well, I posted it last week, so you guys can check that out. We'll place this Ice Golem back here. And we'll place this Skeleton Army right here to take care of that. I haven't noticed a big... I want him to zap, That's or log it. Okay, cool. We're going to place this Musketeer in the back. And we've got the Balloon ready to go. And that is a positive Elixir trade, if I ever did see one. <laughs> okay, that worked out super well. We'll go ahead and zap that and get a little bit more damage on there. Is that going to get a third? Nope, not quite. Okay, cool. Now, it would be a pretty risky at this point for me to just give him a tower. I don't have Fireball in my deck. Oh, I do have Fireball. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, if he were to rush one of my other lanes... Okay, we'll, uh, we'll put that right there. This is good on his part. This is, that was a good, that was a pretty good push. Hmm. Nope, not quite. Yeah, I was gonna say, if he rushed one lane and I could get another tower, I'd easily, I'd definitely love to give him the, the crown, but I'm feeling like that's most likely not going to happen. Okay, he's going to do that, and it is go time. It is go time. He's going to place that down, and we'll zap that. <laughs> Don't you just love how well that works out? So well. We'll go ahead and fireball all of that, get rid of that princess, and we're cycled back to our tombstone. He's just, uh, we'll place that skeleton army right there, and all we need to do at this point is just get back to that fireball. It's fireball time. Cool. Good game. Well played. I love the Payfecta. I love seeing that in the ladder. In fact, I'd love to do some of that too, actually. I really love Payfecta. Another video, guys. Payfecta was one of, uh, was actually the deck that I was playing the most when I first started my YouTube channel, so. Okay, finally, a level 11. Let's, uh, let's see here. Now, the scary thing is, though, is when I'm facing level 11s, usually they're way high. They have <laughs> a lot stronger cards than I do. Um, I, I'm all about leveling up all of my cards. If he zaps that, that's going to be annoying. Nope, he's not. Okay, cool. Um, I'm about leveling up all of my cards pretty equally. Um, come on. Skeleton Army. Okay, that was so close. And he's going to zap it. Oh man, that one just barely misplaced that zap. That worked out. Excellently, and now he's got to worry about this musketeer and this fireball push. I don't know what he's got going on here, so we're going to. Okay, no, that's good. I like it. Got a little damage onto his tower. I probably could have done something um, to try and face up against his mega minion. Probably should have thrown down those minions, but that's okay. Okay. We'll go ahead and do this. That musketeer is going to help take out that hog rider. And we'll place this ice golem right here. Not ready for a balloon push, unfortunately. Now would have been a very good time to go for it. Hey, but that's okay. Those elite barbarians are gonna go crazy onto that right there. And he's going to log it early. Oh, that is just too, unfor too unfortunate for him, really. Although if he did have Zap, that would have been a great psych. Can you imagine him just being like, just kidding, I also have the Zap, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> okay, so far, like, almost nothing has happened. I'm gonna do something very unique. I'm gonna place this balloon, oh shoot, opposite side, okay. And we'll place these minions right here, get rid of that Hog Rider super fast. We'll place this Ice Golem and this Skeleton Army. Hopefully that will not log on to... Okay, it did. It did. Ah, shoot. Okay. Not looking good, guys. Not looking good, but I do... I am cycled back to my tombstone. And where is the log? 
I'm sure that he's ready to do some type of a... Okay, I want to do some type of a Mega Minion. Hmm. Okay. I don't know where that Mega Minion is, but we'll go ahead and zap it. Pull that Tombstone, or pull that Hog Rider all the way over here. And... We might have to go for a draw, guys. He's gonna log that. Okay, what are we gonna do? We got those right there. We got the minions. As well as the musketeer. Going down this side. Okay, we'll pull that way over here. Lock on there, our, our musketeer. I keep calling her an archer. She's not an archer. Okay. Oh, shoot. Come on. Come on. Oh, one mistake. Good game. Well played. Overcommitted, guys. I overcommitted, and that cost me that match. I was hoping for, you know, I really should have gone for the draw. That's what I should have done when you're climbing up the ladder. Um, it's, in, it's, it's very important for you to go for the draw sometimes, and I got greedy. I was doing so well, I got greedy. Ninja Mafia, Chandra, here we go. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what he does, what he's got. Okay, we'll, we'll do this. We'll pull that way over here with the Musketeer to get rid of that um, Hog Rider. We're going to let that do two swings. Ah, shoot. That was more than I would have liked. And we'll go ahead and go with the Balloon. I don't have a, the Pseudo Tank, the Ice Golem, like I normally do, but that's okay. We've got that. Okay. Fireball. Yeah, that was not a good fireball. Not a good fireball at all. I should have just let our musketeers duke it out and then probably camped with an ice golem, but that's okay. Now, he's probably cycled back to his hog rider now. It looks like he's got kind of a fast cycle and I don't have my tombstone. Interesting. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what uh, what the best option is at this point. Um, we'll go ahead and balloon right there. Come on, pull those all the way over there. And... Wow, my balloon's going to make it all the way over there. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Okay, wow. That was a... I don't know what it was in his deck. I feel like he should have been able to stop that, though. I'm going to place these minions right here to get rid of whatever he plays down. That musketeer. Cool. I want to get rid of that pump is really what I wanted to do, which is why I placed those down there. Um, And I knew he was... He just gave up. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get those three crowns then. <laughs> Interesting episode today, guys. First of all, it looks like I'm trolling. And then... Uh, the opponent gives up and uh, continues to look like I'm trolling. Just a difficult deck to face against. And then I should have gone for that draw and uh, totally did not. <laughs> Fastest way to get the three crowns is to get a tank and that skeleton army. I've tested multiple ways to get three crowns quickly when I tried to break the world record for the fastest match in Clash Royale and ended up tying it. We'll go ahead and zap it. Um, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Weird episode, but this deck is working out in the ladder. It's uh, super unique. If you end up facing a lot of tanks, uh, word from the maker of the uh, the deck uh, is to replace that tombstone with the Inferno Tower. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in the arena.